Good morning. Good morning. I'm Colton Bartell. And I'm Audie Bartell. And we are both graduate gemologists here at Suzanne's Custom Jewelers. And it's been a couple of weeks, but we want to welcome you back to Family Jewels. So <laughs> It's like we were on vacation or something. Yeah, but it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, so we missed the last couple of weeks, but uh, a little bit busy, so we couldn't actually get Yeah, and we to... both got haircut. We did. That we was did. probably where we... We had to, yeah, we didn't want to come back on here, you know, but looking they... like Harry and the Hendersons. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a better chance than I do. Well, I said Harry and the Hendersons. Uh, I wasn't just... So I could, yeah. I could be Harry? No, I'd be Henderson. I'd be one of the Henderson. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I forgot about the movie. Okay. Anyway, we're moving on. <laughs> we don't have a station wagon either. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, this week, I know we've talked about this in the past, but um, it bears repeating because this is a, a stone that we definitely need to talk about more often. We have a lot of people ask questions about uh, even though it's extremely common in the jewelry industry uh, due to its popularity, um, it's not necessarily the most common gemstone. But um, we do have a lot of people ask for it, and we have a lot of people surprised by the variety of colors. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and that's usually what spurs on all the questions. Yeah. Is, you know there's one specific color that most people think of this stone being and then whenever they come in and they see that we've got it in a variety of other colors it's like a big question mark pops yeah, up it's, it's almost like no that's not it's not, <laughs> not possible yeah. no it's only this color well no yeah so if you haven't guessed it already or you uh didn't look at the description that i posted whenever we started this video we're talking about sapphire and uh, sapphire is a mineral known as corundum, which uh, encompasses sapphire and ruby. And so that's where a lot of the questions come up is whenever there's that distinction between sapphire and ruby and um, why you can't have red sapphire and why rubies don't come in other colors. Yeah. So most, most corundum is sapphire. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then I guess, you know, something that maybe most people don't think about and, and maybe the ladies out there are not going to be as uh, familiar with this or whatever, and maybe could be, because I remember at one time, you know, fingernails used to be um, smoothed or whatever with an emery board, and emery is basically corundum, and get right down to it is basically sapphire. So just a, just an uh, industrial grade, not, yeah. not gem quality, but yeah. So you know, it, one reason that it's used as an abrasive is because it's really hard. Yeah. You know, like sapphire is nine in hardness. Uh, the other thing is like Colton brought up, um, ruby is red, and it's a corundum. Mm -hmm. If it's not red and it's a corundum, it's, it's sapphire. sapphire. So you got <laughs> you got colorless and blue and pink and yellow and orange. Every and, other color. Right. Yeah. Can't do maybe the Crayola box, but... Uh, you could probably get close. There's some ugly sapphires out there that could go with some of those ugly colors. Yeah, I guess so. Because <laughs> I guess I have seen some browns and... Yep. And, yeah. There's... There's some Which, not so pretty, but for the most part, you don't see many of them because I guess they, they, they don't go, cut them. They go. <laughs> they go well, this would be better as an emery board, I guess, or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, let's let's stick this in some sandpaper or yeah. something. Yeah, because it's yeah. just it's not going to sell otherwise. They're they're still you know like some of the fancy browns. They start to get some orange in it or pink in it yeah. or green. Green and green and brown. Yeah, you get those army green colored oh, sapphires. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I think that's my customer. How are you? Anyway, while he's sorting that out, yeah. 
Yeah, the sapphires come in basically every color except for red, and if it's red, it's ruby. Okay. So we're going to talk about all of the corundum except for the red. And so what we're going to show you is basically a pretty wide range of colors here that, that we keep in stock. Um, some of these um, are, are ones that have raised a lot of questions by customers when they see mm. them because they're like, well, what is that stone? Because, you know, the color is just so unusual that it doesn't just automatically register to them as what it possibly could be. Um, probably yeah, the most the, obvious the is same, that orange one. The same thing basically can happen to us. I mean, when we're out looking at colored stones at a dealer, they don't have up a deal that just says, you know, this is sapphire, this yeah. is garnet, or whatever. So at times, you know, we'll be going through there and there's a thing called site ID, which, you know, when we're doing, Shouldn't do. doing that, you know, you go through there and you go, well, that's going to be citrine or, or, or maybe Madeira citrine or something. Or garnet. Or yeah. And then it turns into being a sapphire. Yeah. So, yeah, the, there's, you know, in here, we, we already know what it is. Yeah. So if we had to go into some place that another store that had something maybe similar to us, we'd maybe be in the same position. I mean, there's other stones that can look like this. Yeah. yeah. Once you kind of look at them a little bit, you can kind of weed some things out. But, um, yeah, I, there's sapphire is just an amazing stone. Who, you know, and, and it's everybody that's in September, their birthstone, they think of just blue sapphire. I don't know if that's the connotation that September is just blue sapphire. Cause I kind of go, you know, I think you can do anything. Yeah. It's sapphire. Yeah. So, so you could actually get really, really colorful with it. You just can't go red. Yeah. Get close. <laughs> you get really close. Yeah. Yeah. So let's, let's uh, show maybe some of these. This is uh we'll just start out with what everybody thinks that it's supposed to look like. And again, I don't know whether I can get how close I get. You're pretty close. So that still works. Yep. So this is a blue sapphire, an oval. It's about, it's a little over a carat, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's not on there. Yeah, but it's, I think it's, it's a little over a carat, carat oval. And then we've got like this one on this men's ring. That's a little, a little more unusual shape for a sapphire because that's what, a, like a princess cut or square? It's a square step cut. Yeah. Yeah, and then we can get into a little more, a little more bizarre color, I guess. This is a uh, uh, yellow that, sapphire. Yeah, almost a golden. Yeah, almost got a little bit of a, a orange to it. Yeah, kind of. What's really nice with sapphire, though, is with all these colors, um, when they're cut well, they're they're all really bright um especially you know some of the yellows some of the yellows and the oranges that that we've seen um they are particularly bright and and i don't know if it's just the color or the what's causing the color that that helps that but um so that like that deep orange sapphire there you know that's one of them that that raises a lot of questions because um it's not a typical color that you see in in gemstones period mm -hmm. and so when people see that in the case um, and that actually has matching earrings they kind of stand out and people are like well what is that mm -hmm. and tell them that it's orange sapphire it's a little bit more unusual yeah, for those ut fans that's like a burnt orange yeah but for everybody else it's just a pretty fall <laughs> orange <laughs> And then we got the pink. Let's see. I got it turned on it. Yeah. The pink sapphires. And again, you know, like Double. every episode, our lighting is not incredible and neither is the camera. But um, it's a little bit. This one actually has a little bit of purple. Yep. A little so, purple modifier to it. Yeah. And 
And actually you get a little bit of a blue overtone, which is kind of weird to you, mm -hmm. but, but kind of cool looking. So it's a purplish, purplish pink with a blue overtone. It almost sounds like I'm describing a pearl or something. Yeah. But it's really or something. Cool. It's got it's got that, you know, if you look at it, you just kind of feel like it's got a little blush of yeah. blue sapphire. Let me play so, my pebs there. These, they may be a little bit more difficult to see, but they're little stars. You got, what, a yellow and a blue and a pink, pink and, and a purple. purple. And yeah. then a kind of a purplish pink, yeah. yeah. So kind of unusual cuts. That's what's kind of neat, too, is, you know, with sapphire, uh, being that it's really hard, for one, you can get really really good polish on these stones and two there's there's good quality in most of these crystals and so you can do you know like these stars if you had a stone that was heavily included that would be a that would be a challenge to keep it in one piece emerald yeah you wouldn't want to do that with emerald <laughs> but stuff like this you know and colton would love to no, I would not make, want to set these. Make a piece and, and set these. So, <laughs> I don't know how long I've been after him to do that, but it's been a while, and we, and we still have them in this little... Yeah, it's probably been 10 years and still had not set them yet, yeah. and I am actively uh, against setting those stones. <laughs> They're really that. cool, but you break one, you don't get another one. So well, we could, You could maybe do a diamond or something. Yeah. But anyway, you can do with these, you know, with their hardness and with good clarity, you can get some real unusual cuts and still have some nice bright stones. But what's really nice with these sapphires is just the range of color that you can get. Mm -hmm. um, makes for some really, really nice pieces. Um, you know, they're going to hold their value really well they're going to hold up to wear really well so these make for a really good heirloom stone too so for jewelry that you're wanting to uh, pass down through the generations sapphire is a really 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 good option uh, especially in colored stones mm -hmm. uh, for doing that and make for really good designs you know back in the the heyday of like art nouveau and the art deco stuff um, that colored sa the fancy colored sapphires uh, played a big role because especially with the Art Nouveau where you had like florals and real organic uh, nature scenes and stuff like that using these fancy colored sapphires it was just kind of a given to put them in there because a lot of these you know they either had real intense color or even some of them had more of like a pastel to them right and worked really, really well for those uh, nature motifs that they were using at the time. And they could kind of almost blend blend colors, you know. Yeah, you could do, you a, could do a graduated color, so worked really, really well for that. And that style is actually starting to, to make a comeback. We're starting to see more Art Deco and more Art Nouveau motifs or even blends of those coming back into, into fashion. And so kind of strange kind of a blend between the two. Well, and you did have that kind of transition period in the yeah. in the thirties, you know, seeing that that transition, it was a short transition period, but seeing that Art Deco and Art Nouveau come together and then the use of color, uh, especially sapphire in there was really unique and actually really impressive with some of the stuff because you had real unusual cuts and shapes to fill in those organic patterns and stuff that yeah, they were and doing. In a company that we're familiar with, Oscar Heyman has sent a lot of multicolor pieces. Yeah. You know, whether it's a necklace or a bracelet with really nice multicolor sapphires. Yeah, um, yeah. So. Um, the other thing that with sapphire that a lot of people don't know is you can actually get phenomenal sapphires and you mean like these aren't that's not a phenomenal blue there well a different sense of the world oh. so like these are phenomenal like amazing <laughs> but phenomenal as in doing something other than displaying just color oh. so you have color change 
that is similar to alexandrite. It's going to change from green to red or kind of a teal to cranberry color. Kind of depends on the quality of the of the stone. Then you also have um, star sapphire that can also come in pretty much any color, but probably the most common is going to be black and blue. And we didn't pull any of those. No, we didn't. <laughs> That's all right. But we've shown we've shown them before, and we have some available for you guys to look at if you want to stop by at some point to learn a little bit more about those. But it's just a really interesting stone. There, have we ever seen a cat's eye? Is there a, is there a cat's eye? I don't think I'm it sure would there be, probably it? is, but I. How would you do that? The needles would have to be just going in one direction. No, oh, but I don't know ever, that would. I don't know if that would really happen. You have to train them, like line up. <laughs> 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 but yeah, but what's really unusual with the star sapphire? So for one, typically, they're going to have a six ray star or a six leg star. Could have twice. Um, but yeah, what's really unusual is on occasion you can have a twelve ray star. I'm going to say you can have some even combinations there. I think yeah. I think there could be a ten. Yep. I think. I don't know that I've seen one, but yeah, they're they're really unusual. Yeah. But either way, um, sapphire is just a really cool stone. A lot of possibilities to design with it. Um, very wearable. Very wearable. Um, very, great. They're very tough. Yep. Great stone to to put in pretty much any application, jewelry application, because um, they wear great on as a ring. They're they're very, like you said, tough and durable. So they're very resistant to scratching and chipping and breaking. And then very even, heat resistant. Yeah, even in repair work. Um, yep. You know, we don't use a torch anymore, but you know, there at one time, ruby, sapphire, and diamond were the only ones we could re-tip on with a torch. Or, for for most cases, that was the only ones that you could size the rings too with yeah, the stones true. in place. Yeah, that's true. Um, now, you know, with a laser, we can pretty much do that with any of them. But sapphires were just are just really resilient, and uh, so. You know, even even in repair processes and stuff like that, sapphires hold up really, really well. And so it's just a great stone for for wearability and longevity. So, you have anything else you want to add? No, I got a customer, so. Okay. So, he's going to head out, but uh, we are pretty much through with this, so... If you guys have any more questions about um, sapphire, colored sapphires, um, star sapphires, color change, any of that stuff, uh, feel free to comment on this video or send us a send us a message right here on Facebook, or you can always call us at 361-991-7565, and you can stop by Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 6, here at our store, and that's at 4226 at South Alameda here in Corpus Christi. We're in the Town & Country Shopping Center. And um, yeah, we've got a, a wide variety of sapphires that you guys can come in and look at, loose and set. And uh, we'd be glad to show them to you and, and tell you all the little yeah. details and nuances of each stone. And uh, yeah, they're just fun to look at, fun to talk about. And so come on by, don't have to buy anything. You can just come in and check them out and just learn a little bit more about them. But in the meantime, um, we hope you guys enjoy your week. Have a great week, and we will see you next time right here on Facebook. So thank you guys, and we will see you later. Bye.